in this video I will show you how to shake it, namely how to camera shake in random rotations, R locations and however you want to. To create our camera shake we need to create a new blueprint. So click a new empty blueprint class and here under all classes open this up and then type in camera shake. Then you might need to drag this up and you see a bunch of them, you can open them if you need. Some of you will have matinee camera shake. But in my case, this is legacy camera shake, so I select this one. This is the one that I'm going to use. And you hit select. Let's give this a name. Let's say BP underscore cam shake. And we hit save. And this will open up. And we see some interesting values right here. But let's keep this by default BP cam shake. And um, let's open up. I'm going to put this uh, for testing purposes is my BP third person character. You can put this in your level blueprint or whatever happens. So right click. Let's say when I click the left mouse button, I want to activate this camera shake. So for example, in a shooting game, whenever he shoots, there needs to be a little camera shake or something like that. Then the note you're looking for, drag off, play world camera shake. This is the one you will need. Under shake, you can choose the BP cam shake that we just created. The epicenter, let's say right click, get actor location. So this is the actor uh, or character. So from the location of our character. Drag this in the epicenter, so where the stuff's happening. The inner radius, let's keep this at zero, and the outer radius, let's choose big. So we are between uh, these values, our players, so this should be good. So whenever I click my left mouse button, the shake will play. So right now, you see there's no shake really going on, but this is already set up correctly. We can still tweak uh, the values right here. Underneath oscillation, Let's say that the duration is here at zero. This is why nothing is happening uh, right now. So this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So let's set this at 0 0.3. And then let's uh, have some shake going on. So here under pitch, by the way, you can open the, uh, this one up. Let's say an amplitude of zero, but a frequency of 50 and initial offset. So it defines how to begin. Let's uh, begin at zero. And let's now see this going on. This is um, not really any effect. But watch when I set this to minus 5 for amplitude. You can see each time I hit, this is a, a little shake. Now, this might be a lot, but uh, I like to exaggerate my numbers. So then you can uh, decrease uh, until you're liking. So for example, minus 3. And you can see this is already better. But to make this a little bit better, you can also have a uh, location, oscillation, and Z is up and down here. So this amplitude, let's set this for example to 3, with the frequency of 50 for example. Uh, and let's let leave this at random. And you can see this is already a bit different. Uh, it's going up and down. Maybe you like some rotation in here. So you can also choose for minus 3 here. And then 50 for example here. You can choose at zero, but I'm going to choose random for some random yaw rotation, also for the roll. Let's do this right here. Minus three, and maybe also 50, also random. And then you can see it is shaking more like this, and you get random shakes like this. So have a go at the location and the oscillation, uh, the Z values, but you can also uh, move around in the X and Y values as well. And this is how you can basically set up a very easy camera shake in Unreal Engine 5. Don't forget to grab the free game dev toolkit in the description down below this video. You will get my free ebook on how to get better at game development, a free game design document to plan out your projects, and a free tutorial series where you create a platformer game from scratch. And those who are hungry for more, I offer a sneak peek and overview of my new premium course, The Unreal Vault where you learn how to create beautiful levels, create a game from scratch to finish, and how to set up boss fights and create dragon fights with different attacks, including fire breathing. So if this sounds like a good deal to you, I see you there. Click the link and grab your game dev toolkit now while it's still free.